what's up everybody it's the NBA fanatic Johnny P and unfortunately I'm bringing you this video today and I'm not in my happy mood I want to talk about Ty Lawson he's a guard for the Denver Nuggets and I even hate I hate talking about this because for the second time this season second time this year he would not have got a DUI the second time in 2015 that this man has gone out been under the influence got behind the wheel of a car and gotten in trouble. It happened in LA at 1.30 in the morning and I get so angry because you hear about all these players getting in trouble. But let me, let me, first off, let me start over by saying before I made this video, I went on mad.org, M-A-D-D.org. I believe it stands for Mothers Against Drunk Driving. And there's some statistics I wanna read off to you, things that just touch my heart. Every day in America, Another 28 people die as a result of drunk driving. Now, we're not talking about the drunk drivers themselves. We're talking about innocent people, men, women, and children who get injured and die. 28 people on average a day. Just in 2013 alone, there were 10,076 deaths because of drunk driving. Over 10,000 people, you're talking mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, uncles, aunts, cousins, friends, we are talking people whose lives matter are dying on account of somebody else's or their own bad choices. The rate of drunk driving is the highest between the ages of 21 and 25. Now we're talking about Ty Lawson here. He is a 27 year old man, a six year veteran of the league and what blows my mind is that when these players get to the league, they have to go through basically classroom work, letting them know this is how you should conduct yourself, this is how you should act, this is how you should spend and protect your money, blah, 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 blah. But one of the things they go over, I'm sure, is stuff like this. And if not, it's time for the NBA to step forward and say there's a problem because we can't have our players going out and getting in trouble. This game spans the entire world the entire world, right? There are millions and millions of fans out there. Thousands and thousands of probably just Ty Lawson fans. I remember, I've told this story a million times. When I was younger, I used to watch Michael Jordan play. I learned off of Michael Jordan. If he was going out and getting in all kinds of trouble, man, I don't know how that would influence me. Now, I don't drink. That's a personal choice of mine. I don't drink at all. But I could see we're doing stupid stuff like this might seem cool to some people, which again boggles my mind, but you never know. You never know who you could influence. And it, it, it's crazy to me because the league is consisted of a couple hundred players. And I know a couple hundred players go out there worldwide and they make changes and positive changes, positive strides in their communities, in society, and just countries around the world that need help. And they do great things and then something like this happens, and you read the headline, NBA player goes out and gets DUI. What are you doing? You're a grown man. You've been in trouble twice. If it was up to me, and I was Adam Silver, you'd be out of the league. You'd be gone. Because there are hungry, thirsty guys in the D League and in college that want your position, who are just as good as you, who can stay out of trouble, and do positive things on their own personal time, you would be gone. It's something that we need to stay, step back as a society and say, we need to stop this. We need to prevent, instead of stopping it, what preventative measures, like a preemptive strike, what can we do to stop this? Because maybe these guys are just not being told no as often. Maybe they're not being as regulated as they should. I'm not all about regulating people's lives, but I understand that when I'm at work, I un operate under a system of rules. There are many, many, there are countless rules involved that I have to follow. Maybe it's time to just up that list because these guys are investments of these teams. They're making millions and millions of dollars. They are investments and you can't have that. As aside from it just being a bad image for the league that I'm so passionate about, that I've spent tons of money on, from a human being talking to a human being, you have to stop because you have a problem. You are selfish and inconsiderate. And you also hear a lot about 
about abuse and domestic violence going on with players all in these different professional sports. This has to stop. Start treating each other with respect. If you're not wanting to be part of a relationship, get out. If you need to go see psychological, you know, if you need to go seek out psychological help, please do that. There's no shame in getting help because these athletes go through so many stresses. Now granted, it's easy for me to say, oh, they play a sport for a living. That would be easy. I can say that because I don't do it. I'm not that talented or that gifted. But I understand there's stresses that are involved that they have to deal with. If you are having trouble in your life dealing with anything, go get help. Just because you're a professional athlete doesn't mean you're above getting help. When you read about things like the Ray Rice incident and now with Ty Lawson, you see all this trouble and again it overshadows the good and the positive things. But it's these bad things that really make it bad and we need to step forward as a society and say, hey, we expect higher standards out of our league. This is, again, I'm a huge NBA fan and I want my league to step forward and say, you know what, these are the steps we're going to take moving forward to ensure that we are in the best possible position. Now granted, there's going to be people that slip through the cracks and maybe Ty Lawson was one of those. But what's Denver doing right now? They're going to put him up for trade. They're going to get rid of him. Big deal. Where is he going to go? He could go to 29 other teams. But the end result is going to be he could still do this again. Trading this man will not solve his problems. There are issues there. They're having trouble dealing with stuff. We need to make sure we have these long-term plans set up so these players who get handed all these millions of dollars, all this stuff, all these cars, all this opportunity, we need to make sure that they're making the right decisions for themselves, for their families, and plain and simple, other strangers on the road. Because if Ty Lawson would have killed somebody, I don't even want to talk about it. Because it's horrible. It's horrible to think about him going out and hurting somebody. Ty Lawson, I, I know you're not going to see this, but if by sheer chance you do, please get some help just stop for a second and think about what you're doing you are on a stage where you have a voice that goes way farther than mine ever will so I'm on YouTube I might get a couple hundred people to watch this maybe more than likely probably not you can reach millions of people if you wanted to you can be an, amb an ambassador not just of the game but as a human being as an American as somebody who cares but instead Instead of reading a good Ty Lawson story, I'm here sitting in my living room making this video just because I'm angry. I'm angry, man. People will listen to you. There are such, a, such an elite club getting into the NBA. There's maybe a couple thousand people in all of history who've played in the NBA. You are the elite. So I'm not opposed to you making the money you make. Or doing the things you do because again I know a lot of players give back but this is the type of stuff I refuse to tolerate this is the type of stuff that will cause fans to walk away from the game NBA please listen to me listen to us and I'll tell you if you're another fan out there who even slightly agrees with what I have to say please share this video let's get this to the NBA not on account of me growing my YouTube channel I don't care about that that would be cool, yes, but not because of this. This is a serious issue. From a human being to a human being, please, start behaving, start making better decisions for yourselves, please, because I, I will pray for you. I will pray for everybody out there to start making better decisions because I don't want to see somebody like you, Ty Lawson, get hurt or the people around you because of your decision making. Thank you. This is the NBA Fanatic Johnny P. We'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.